Hello, I'm Elliot. We're from Little Punk People. We're interviewing uh, Keith from the band Off. Now, I don't know what you're doing. Well, I know what I'm doing, interviewing Keith. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know that I was a founding member of a band called Black Flag. I was also a founding member of a band called The Circle Jerks. How do you feel about being so awesome and playing in such an awesome band? Uh, <laughs> um, I feel okay. Oh, I, I have good days, I have bad days. Today, I, I feel pretty gosh darn good. I feel, yeah. <laughs> Like this is the best and most fun band you've ever been in. Well, I'm uh, I'm getting to be a, a senior citizen. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to be 59 years old in about three months, and it, it gets more difficult to do this because of the the. the the music that we play and the the there's an, a certain athleticism that's involved. See, because I come from when I first started playing music, I was living in a a beach town like this, only on the west coast, and all of the people that I was surrounded by Sorry. were surfers and skaters and skiers, and they all had this go for it attitude. Like, well, let's not just stand around and look at what we're supposed to be doing. Let's just do it, you know. Skip all of the thought and all of the process and just go for it. Did you ever see the movie Fast Times at Richmond High? No. Well, um, there's a character in Fast Times at Ridgemont High who's just the stoner surfer kid who actually orders a, has a pizza delivered to one of his classes, like his history class, and he sits there and he eats pizza in the teacher gets really bummed, but the guy's name is uh, Jeff Spicoli, <laughs> and where I grew up, every other person was a Jeff Spicoli, <laughs> so there's all of these prevailing attitudes like, dude, what's happening, yeah, we're going to get stoned under the pier, and then we're going to skate down through the traffic, and we're going to jam through a red light and hope that there's no cars going in the opposite directions. And so we had this like crazy, you just do it. You don't, you don't stand around thinking about it. You don't write things down, you just go for it. And with this band and me being the age that I'm at and uh, the health issues that I have, I just have to go for it and hope for the best you know, this could be like my last run. We wouldn't do this if we weren't having fun. Why the fuck would we want to do this? We're, we're just barely capable of paying our bills. It's not like we're becoming fucking ultra mega rock stars. What kind of changes would you make if you if you were the uh, president of America? Well, people would think that I would be evil. <laughs> because the changes that I would make, um, nice people don't normally think of things like that. But the, the, the problem that we have is that we have all of these politicians that are supposed to work for us. They're supposed to work for the American people, the people that vote them into office. And we have this uh, rash of politicians who don't care what we think. 
because they're getting paid by people with lots of money. And those, those people would be the corporations and the billionaires who want to actually keep us in our place. Um, I would eliminate all of them. <laughs> all of the, the politicians that... Um, the, 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 the career politicians that th think that they're going to have even more money when they leave office because they were elected into office and voted against our better wishes. Uh, the problem that we have is all of a sudden we have a rash of all of these people that are, they, they consider themselves above everybody else and that they're untouchable and that they can get away with whatever they want to get away with and we can't do anything about it because we we're not killers and murderers we're not going to go around and tar and feather people and do bad things like that because we're good people we just we want to live our lives we, we don't want to be affected by a lot of the things that are going on around us. Like your parents, they want to be able to earn money and pay the rent so they can keep a roof over your head. You know, they want to earn money so you can have shoes and glasses and be able to go to school and have food in the refrigerator. And they're just good people. Uh, I, I can't speak for them, but I would, as president, I would go after all of the bad people. And we would not fight any more wars. We don't need to be fighting with anybody. There's no reason for us, there's no reason for us to send um, US citizens to foreign places to kill people in foreign places. Because those people over there are just like us, your parents and myself. We just, we just want to be good people. Okay, now I'm doing some fun questions. Up, uh, uh, hold on, time out. <laughs> I, I, I thought all the other questions that we've been doing were the fun ones. <laughs> <laughs> These are way more fun. Okay. If someone gave you. Five million dollars, what would you do with it? I would get my teeth fixed, get my cavities fixed. I would buy a house for my mom. I'd buy her a little red sports car. Even though she doesn't want to drive, she lives in Tucson and she likes the bus system. The buses run like every 15 minutes, so she doesn't like all of the extra responsibility of insurance and all the other freaky drivers and people not looking and stepping out in front of cars and stuff like that. Um, I would probably buy myself a house and You'd buy Elliot a house too, right? Um, I would buy Elliot a tree house. <laughs> you you well. look like a tree house kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> with a rope, a big thick rope with knots in it, because that's you grab the knot and that's how you climb up into the tree house. <laughs> knot after knot. And they'd be short knots rather than big knots. With a slide. Oh, so you'd climb up the rope to get into the treehouse and to exit the treehouse, you'd just slide down the slide. Maybe there'd be a pool on the end of the slide. Works. The deep oh, end. Happens. So now, Elliot, um, did you want to tell him the one, the one thing gonna... that you would do? With I'll buy a taco dispenser, so it's constantly um, shooting out tacos into my mouth and leave them out. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Or a giant burrito. How about a giant burrito? Oh, okay, 
take bites out of whenever you felt like it. <laughs> Who's your favorite superhero? I don't have a favorite superhero. I like the superhero teams, like the X-Men, because they're all like these really great characters. And I really like the F Fantastic Four because you have the Invisible Girl, you have the Thang, it's clobbering time. He's just as strong as the Hulk, although I do like the Hulk a lot, and Spider-Man. Um, now, you know, Batman isn't a superhero. I like Batman because he's just a normal guy, but he developed like bulletproof suit and he can fly through the air if he's got his wings spread. And... If you can pick any dead music musician to return from the, de the grave and join you on stage for a song, who would it be? That's a tough one. I could say Jimi Hendrix. I don't know if he would play with us. <laughs> um, or Beethoven. That would be pretty interesting if Beethoven was playing piano. <laughs> Elvis. I'd uh, sing backing vocals. <laughs> You know, some bop, bops, bop, bop, you know, stuff like that. Doesn't have to be about me. You know, it could be about somebody else, too. Okay, palm trees or skyscrapers? Oh, palm trees. You know, being from Southern California, uh, it's surf, sun, and palm trees. <laughs> In no particular order. <laughs> Our government or Dracula? They're both the same. <laughs> <laughs> They're all bloodsuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but Dracula, because you only have to deal with them when the sun goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Police or librarians? Well, unfortunately, we do need police because there are a lot of bad people out there. The problem that we have is that a lot of the police do things that aren't any better than what the bad people do. But the librarians are more important because the kids need to go to the library and they need to study and they need to read. You know, you would think, well, he's punk rock. He's the guy that ditched school and I love school. Cats or people? <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> Because there are a, lo a lot of people that I like, but cats never do anything that are gonna, it's, they, they don't do anything that's gonna like mess up your life. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the interview. Uh, thanks for answering my questions. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, have fun, be good. Do what you wanna do. Don't be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha